Hey everybody, it is I, Tony, and welcome back to another video. Now this week, I'm not going to be doing a review this week, but instead, I will be giving you another top 10 list, and this is my 10 best PlayStation 1 driving games. Now I've already put it to the 10 best fighting game list, which, of course, I, I like I mentioned, there will possibly be a part 2 to that and stuff, so a lot of these top 10 lists I make, there will be parts, there will be multiple parts, I'll just let you guys know. And I picked 10 random random driving games that I've played, known, and, li and loved, and I put them onto this list. We're gonna go for, from 1 to 10, 1 being at the bottom, and 10 being at the, at, the, being at the top of the list. So we're gonna get started here with number 1, Speed Punks. Now, Speed Punks is a Mario Kart clone, and a Mario Kart clone that a lot of people don't really know about. It's got goofy looking characters, fun gameplay, and it basically is is, is what uh, was what the PlayStation Mario Kart, Mario Kart clone could have been if we didn't have like CTR Crash Team Racing and such. And although this game is not as not as, as memorable and not not as not and it's still good but not as fun as Crash Team Racing. Crash Team Racing was a little bit better. This game still definitely holds a spot for me because it's fun. It's innovative. It's challenging. It's got goofy looking characters and it's just basically an all around fun racing game that if you want to just like try out. I say pick pick this one up because this one is awesome. Number two, Mobile One Rally Championship, and this game here is basically in off-road road racer with where you like go through dirt, snow, and stuff, and it's basically one of those rally racing games where you like we you, we you pretty much use rally rally cars, and and it's a good one at that. For some reason, the PlayStation version did not get 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 favorable reviews as the PC version did. Since I only own the PS1 version, I think this this PS1 version is a lot of fun. The controls are very smooth, the graphics are nice, the gameplay is a lot of fun, tons of cars to choose from, and this definitely ranks up there as one of my, my favorite driving games on the PlayStation 1. Number 3, Roll Cage. Now, Roll Cage, I, I first learned about this game when playing the demo the demo disc that this game was on in the year 1998, around, around the holiday season. And what it, what really got got me with this game, which shocked me and surprised me, is what I mean, is that the way the vehicles were. I mean, like this 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 game was like you have vehicles that you that you can drive on both sides of the car. Like if the car falls upside down, you can still drive. And the and the racing vehicles and the racers look so cool, futuristic looking, and it's just it it it, it it's fast. The frame rate never never drops either. And it's just so much fun. It's, it's got it's got it's got a kick-ass soundtrack, which I cannot cannot play because of the of copyright things on YouTube. I do like this one better than Roll Cage 2 because in Roll Cage in Roll Cage 2 you don't have have the characters like Jet, Lenny, or Tony or anything or anything like, like that. And you just have to just basically create your own your your, your, own, your own race car and stuff like that, which with with you as the as a driver. And I don't really like that, but. Roll Cage definitely a memorable game. And it's a shame that we will never get get a, get us get like a Roll Cage Cage Three for the next gen consoles or anything like that because this game, while it had had a, it was very popular back then, it's a game that that gamers these days will never know about sadly. But Roll Cage for me will definitely always hold a spot in my heart. Number four, Twisted Metal Two, the very first Twisted Metal game I ever played, and Twisted Metal Metal Two I was introduced to this series when I first got my PlayStation when we had the demo disc that had the trailer or preview of new game game clip clip on there and it was really cool the cool that like instead of racing you're battling Ling Leon opponents through cars and I never knew this could be done and when I when I when I learned about Twisted Twisted Metal the, all you all you heard was like you're not racing in this game you're battling other cars and like and I was thinking, this is so cool, it's like, it's just like, I played Mario, Super Mario Kart, Mario Kart 64 before I got my Playstation and there was a battle mode in there. And I was thinking to myself, whoa, a battle mode, a battle game, a battle car, car game with actual cars in it and stuff, it's really, really cool. Especially the car Spectre, because the Spectre car is definitely my, it was definitely the, 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 the car that I like. It looks so cool, nice and silver, and just, I love Twisted Metal. I mean, Twisted Metal 1, Twisted Metal, Twisted Metal, Metal 2 are awesome, too bad Twisted Metal 3 and 4 were garbage on Twisted Metal Small Brawl, but Twisted Metal Metal Black and Twisted Metal Twisted Metal Head On were awesome, I don't care for the reboot, but Twisted Metal 2 is definitely one of my, my favorite Twisted Metal games of all time. I put this one on here because, I, because it was the first one I got, so that's why it's on here. Number 5, Driver You Are The Wheel Man, and Driver You Are The Wheel Man 
It's basically what what, 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 what Grand Theft Auto 3 was before Grand Theft Auto, Auto was, was a 3D game. Driver, driver, you're the wheelman. It's basically you are uh, an undercover cop named named Tanner, and you pretty much are doing stuff in the car. You're never taken out taken out of the car for anything. You're pretty much driving certain cars, going going to certain cities like San Francisco, New York, and stuff. And it basically like a lot to do, especially when you get the cops on your ass and you're trying to run away from them. That that is is the fun part there when. You're trying to run from the cops, and they damage you, and that it's just a lot of fun. It's tense fun. A lot of people I know could not get past the training, the training level. But let me tell you this: the training level is 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 beatable. It's not it's not complicated or anything like that. You just gotta watch the little tutorial video they give you, or watch or watch something online. I've beaten it, and I beat the game. And you know what? The game is definitely worth it. And I definitely recommend you all pick up this game because if you want to play a game where you do missions in a car, and you are an, an, an undercover cop where you want where you want to like, like like run away from the cops so like that or do car missions or even take take a ride just drive around a city taking a ride, this game is for you. Number six, we're getting some futuristic racing here. Wipeout three. Now Wipeout first came out. The first Wipeout game came in a long box, and then we had Wipeout XL, and now we have Wipeout three. Wipeout 3 is my favorite Wipeout game because they improved over the first two games and made everything balanced and perfect. The controls are very smooth, the graphics are awesome, the gameplay is very balanced and a lot of fun. And like, they kept improving and improving until like a Wipeout, until Wipe, Wipe, Wipeout Fusion which was the last good Wipeout game in, in my opinion. But like, Wipeout 3, there's n there, there's not enough words to, dis to, to describe how awesome this game is. I mean, Wipeout 3 is so good that like it that, like no matter no matter how old you are no, no matter how long you had this game it'll always be be a game for you especially if you if you like futuristic racing in car and vehicles like like this then definitely pick this one up I mean I love Wipeout 3 and everyone who's a fan of the fan of racing games in the Wipeout series will love it too number seven Need for Speed 3 Hot Pursuit now back this is back when Need for Speed was awesome and and, and it wasn't shit like how it is now. Need for Speed 3 Hot Pursuit was definitely the best Need for Speed game for the PlayStation. Now, Need for Speed Speed 1 and 2 were, were great. Just that, just that the first one had some very wonky controls that were a turn off, and Need for Speed 2 was a great game. Just that Need for Speed 3 Hot Pursuit improved, improved more and such. And Need for Speed 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 3 has tons of modes in it, tons of cars, and, and yet, and yet the, the graphics looked looked awesome. Like it looked, it, they were they looked very, very realistic at times. Like wow, the cars look so real and. Electronic Arts really did a fantastic job with Need for Speed 3 Hot Pursuit, and I wish they made more Need for Speed games like this instead of instead of catering to like to like the fans who want a lot of crashing and and catering to the people who like Fast and the Furious because this game right here is how you make a Need for Speed game, not the crap that's out now. This is how you make a Need for Speed game: simple racing, lots of modes, lots of cars, and most and, and most importantly, lots of fun. So this is how you should make a Need for Speed game. Number eight. Gran Turismo 2. Now, Gran Turismo, Gran Turismo was was very interesting when it was first released on the PlayStation. It was basically a driving simulator and an arcade racer at the same time. Now, Gran Turismo Turismo Mode 2. This game came on two discs. You had the simulation disc and the arcade disc, and it was very, very, very cool time because like you had to like take driving tests to get to get more cars, to unlock your lights, to get to unlock lights, to unlock more cars, and this game had tons of cars to choose from. You had cars like BMWs, Chevrolets, Toyotas, Mini Coopers, and more and more and more. And like this this was definitely a game where it made you feel like you were a, a, a race car driver or you were were, 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 were like like doing a driving test to like to like get a license or so. I mean, this was the type of game that made you made you feel like you were actually driving a car or racing a car, and it couldn't get any more realistic than this. I mean, Grand Turismo Turismo One, yeah, yeah, it started off and it was and it was awesome, but then Grand Turismo Two comes out and we get a game that's even better. This is definitely my favorite Grand Turismo Turismo game of all time. I mean, Grand Turismo Three, I expect Grand Turismo Four were awesome, but Grand Turismo Two had the charm I it had when I was growing up because. Playing Gran Turismo and Gran Turismo 2, especially because I had the PlayStation Station when I was a kid and PS2 did not come out till the year to late 2000, these two games will always hold a charm for me. Especially the second one because they they made they made everything realistic about the game. 
and made and made it fun. Sure, the cars don't get damaged, but since when did cars need to get damaged in order to have a fun racing game? The question is never. You don't need damage and de need you don't need crashes or anything to make to make make to make a great driving game. You got it right here. We're getting down to the wire here. Number nine, CTR Crash Team Racing. The, the first racing game by by Sony's basket at the time, Crash Bandicoot. Now I loved Crash Bandicoot games at, at the time. Even my dad, dad did, did did too. I mean, like my dad was better at these games than me, but that, that's kind of off topic there. CTR Crash Team Racing was basically PlayStation's Mario Kart, and and a fantastic one at that. In CTR Crash Team Racing, you pretty much drive in this adventure field and driving your driver, driving races, winning races to collect trophies, relics, and more and more and more to like. To, like win a bunch of races, get trophies and stuff like that, and unlock races and stuff. And the character I like playing as is Coco Bandicoot because I like playing as Coco more. And it's a shame that the Coco did not get a lot of a lot of game time until this game and and, and such. But but then again, like um, it was very cool because like this is how I first learned about the multi tab where you can play as four players. I did not know anything about a multi tab about playing four players until the commercial said, plug in the multi tab and you can play us and you can play play four players head to head racing and. It was definitely, it definitely showed here that that Mario Kart clones could work, and this game was definitely worth worth it. Now I know Speed Punks was on the on the list before and stuff, and I said that that Crash Team Racing was better than Speed Punks. It's because I'm right. This game is better than than, than, than Speed Punks and more memorable too. It's like it has better controls, better graphics, lots of characters, and even boss races too, where where you could. When you when you won all the trophies in in that in that in that adventure field, you 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 can race the boss and you you get keys to unlock to unlock doors to new to the new adventure fields and then that that's pretty much what it was. So CTR Crash Team Racing is is is, is the second best game on the, is, is is the second top game on this on this driving list. Now we're down to the wire number ten. But before we get started, may I have a drum roll, please? Um, I said, may I have a drum roll, please? Are you deaf? May I have a drum roll, please? Thank you. Oh, my lord. When I say may I have a drum roll, I mean may I have a drum roll, okay? Thank you, thank you. Number 10, the top game on this list. R4 Ridge Racer Type 4 by Namco. Now, anybody who 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 subscribed to my channel knows that Namco was my favorite video game company back then, and I loved a lot of lot of Namco Ghost series like Tekken, Time Crisis, Cyber Sled, Starblade, and and of course Ridge Racer. And I put R4 Ridge Racer Type 4 on this list because this was the best Ridge Racer game for the PlayStation. Now, I know Ridge Racer was was the very first PlayStation game to be released in the West and stuff like that for the PlayStation, but like. They improved a lot as each time went on. Ridge Racer was awesome, just like just that it was basically one one race and like four cars and extra cars you can you can you can unlock if you beat the Gal the Galaxy and minigame. Ridge Racer Re Revolution was a good game, was a good sequel with it, but just felt kinda like an expansion pack at times, so that's basically it. And Rage Racer took took it to a new level with a futuristic style, but it had some 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 difficulty unbalanced uh, bouncing issues and stuff, but all for Ridge Racer Type 4, it's like take takes everything from the first Ridge Racer games we had on the PlayStation and brings them here and make and like perfects it. Now like I know a lot a lot of people prefer Need for Speed or Crash Racer over over Ridge Racer and stuff, but to me, I preferred more like in fact they preferred more the the arcade style racing the, and like because like I like spending a lot of time in the arcade playing playing a lot of games and. And stuff, and I wanted need an arcade, an arcade racer to play at home on the PlayStation. And R for Richard the Type Four was there. You basically like um choose a team you want, you want to, you want to race for, and you you, you pick you, you pick a car, pick a pick pick what type of type of type, type of sponsor you want, like like Pac-Man or something like that, and you, or or you you pick the brand of the car like like Kamada or so, and you basically do it from there, and you race, and like um. It's, very, it's basically all about the drifting, Ridge Racer, and you do a lot of drifting in, in this one, and it's the only way you're going to go into get first. I mean, like, if you try to play it as, as, as a normal racer, you're going to crash and still you're going to lose. But R for Ridge Racer Type 4 perfected the Ridge Racer racer series, and we what we got here is a fantastic arcade-style racer, and 
great graphics, lots of gameplay, play, play races and stuff, and just, and so on and so on. That's why R4 for, for Ridge Racer Type 4 is my, is my, is my favorite driving game. Well, one of my favorite driving games of all time, and that's why it's the top one on this list. Alright, that, that's it for this video. Stay tuned because there's more videos coming up along the way, so be on the lookout for that. And also, my new review is coming up soon, so be on the lookout for that because there's a lot more coming out this way. And thank you, you for watching my 10 best PlayStation driving games list. And there, there will be a part 2 to lead to this along with my other 10 best, best driving list. So, well, along with my 10 best list in general, I mean. So, that's pretty much all I gotta say. This is Tony. Peace and out.